Hi again. I'd like to continue talking about mocking your projects up in Xcode. So, so far, imagine I've got these two screens here, right? And what I want to do is I want to be able to test them. I want to see what they look like on, you know, on a, on a phone, right? So, uh, right now, if we look at the two view controllers in Storyboard, you'll see that this one has a little arrow on it. And that arrow represents the entry point. It says, like, where will Xcode start, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to start here, okay? If you want to start at the other view, you can grab the arrow and move it over here, right? Okay? So you can just drag that around. If for some reason the arrow is missing, well, I just hit delete. I selected it and hit delete, right? If it's missing, click on the view controller, go to the attribute inspector, right? So the view controller has to be selected, right? So it has to have this blue outline and this thing is blue, right? Around the yellow circle there, right? And in the attribute inspector here, it says view controller. And then underneath it says title. And then right underneath there, there's a checkbox that says is initial view controller. And so if you check that, the little arrow will come back and that will be the, the initial view controller or you know the, the first one that we see, right? Okay, so how do you test here, right? Well, you can simulate um, the iPhone on the desktop using Xcode. They have a, a thing built in called the, um, the iOS simulator, right? And what you'll do is you'll go to the, to the menu right here. Okay, really all you gotta do is click this button. But before we do that, go to the menu here and then choose a device that you wanna test with. So I sized these screens here as iPhone 6, and we can actually make the sizes, the, the screen is kind of responsive, so they change size and all the elements change to match, but we haven't done any of that stuff yet, so why don't we just test it at exactly the size that we've drawn it, and then it should look the same on the, on the, um, in the simulator, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the menu here and choose iPhone 6S. So this is the size for the iPhone 6, so I could choose 6S or 6. Right, the plus is going to be bigger, and then the five and the four are smaller, right? So I'll choose the 6S, and then I'll click on the play button here. And any moment now. Right. Here's the simulator here. Maybe it just didn't come to the front, so I'll click on it and bring it to the front. I guess it's just starting up, right? And there's my app, right? So this looks pretty much just like what we have here. Right? You can tap on the button. And in, in a while, we, I don't have this yet, but, but uh, later what we'll do is we'll be able to tap the button to go to the next screen. Okay, And we'll, we can do all that without any code at all. Okay, So anyway, so that shows you how to test. What if you want to test your profile screen? And since we don't have the buttons hooked up yet, what we can do is we can just grab the entry point and drag it over here. And then to test this view, we can click the play button again. And then that view will load up first. And there's my view, right? And then the button works, right? Um, and again, we'll, we'll set it up so you can navigate between the screens. We've got to know a couple more things, though, and set a few more things up before we can make that happen. But this is an easy way just to test a screen and see what it looks like on the simulator, right? Okay. So anyway, so thanks for watching, and uh, I'll, we're going to do a little bit more. I want to make these text fields a little bit fancier, so we'll do that in the next video, okay?